It was this is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. Yeah, I mean, first things first, we we talking about Caitlin Clark. Yep. Um, she C-C. just had a, a, a massive game, a 23 and – what was it? 23 and 19? No, wait. What was – no. I'm not too sure. She had a lot of assists and a yeah. lot of points. Yeah, she doing I saw it was, it was like 29 and like 12 or something like that. You know – I'm going to just go find one. A, a, a couple uh, videos ago, mm-hmm. I said I wouldn't buy. God dang it, Trav. I'm trying to clean up myself. I did. I, no, a couple this wouldn't of, be bad if I was okay. about to say. I said I wouldn't buy her shoes because she white and she mm. a woman. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I thought you was just going to say I wouldn't buy her shoes and then leave yeah. it at that. <laughs> you stupid. So, you wouldn't buy her shoes, but I, now. To support her, I would. Okay. And AJ Wilson is my favorite WNBA player. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say she's my top five favorite of all time. But mm-hmm. right now, she's my, my favorite in this era, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I would probably buy Caitlin Clark shoes before I buy AJ Wilson shoes. Oh, shoot. That's a huge transition. That's a fact. Just due to the fact that I want her to be great. Because her I, being I great fully is support going, her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I would buy her shoes first. Okay. And if AJ Wilson won his fire. Yeah. I buy hers too. Yeah. I ain't buying AJ Reese shoes. Well, but. whose shoes would you buy first? Uh, AJ Reese, yep. Flage, or Camilla Cardos? God, dog. Now, I remember Flage. somebody's shoes is going to be great because they need great shoes. Flage. But, but I would buy Flage shoes just due to the fact that. You know, we we thug. pretty much in her. We pretty much in the area that that represent her. Oh, okay. Yeah, so for true, that true. reason, I would. But that's true. If we was from like I don't know Alabama, yeah, I probably Sweet buy injury shoes. Okay, and date my cousin. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> can I see that? I don't know, but I like it. No, I think it's a cute. <laughs> that's it. All right. Uh, so during this uh, game, she uh, got a tech. Mm-hmm. So let's see if you think that it was an acceptable tech or not. Let's get up into it. I, I got a t- technical for basically being mad at myself because I missed the mm. three and then I went and hit the backboard and he told me it was disrespectful to the game of basketball. So I don't know. It reminded me of the technical that I got in college where I said, damn it, where it's like a personal frustration. Had nothing to do with my team. Had nothing to do with their refing. refing had nothing to do with other team. It was just because I'm a competitor and I felt like I should have been making more shots. So... Um, but I think he fired me up to continue to play a lot harder. I thought we got a lot better after he did that. So I want to thank him uh, for that. Yeah. All right. Thanks. All right. So. Yep. Caitlin Clark. Mm-hmm. I think to say she's media trained would be an understatement. You think that would be an she understatement? Be, she be killing every time she talk. Every time she go to the media conferences or whatever, you know, at the post game interviews and yeah. all that stuff. She be killing. That's a fact. I wonder who taught her. But either way it go, what she said was uh, complete facts, though. Yeah, uh, I, I honestly think she was media trained when she was in college or on the way to college. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. but yeah, I don't think she should have gotten a tech for that because I feel it's like emotions. Mm-hmm. That's part of, of, of the, the, the game. Yeah. And that helped the fans connect to the players. For more. sure. For sure. One hundred percent. Last playoff series, it was the Minnesota against Dallas. Mm-hmm. And I was drinking. Yeah. I was drinking. Yeah. Watermelon. Come no. <laughs> so <laughs> it was um, Ant-Man. Yeah. He was shooting bad. And then they zoomed in on him. And he was, was bent over. Pause. Mm-hmm. And he had looked frustrated with himself. Yeah. And right there, I immediately... Some 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 kind of emotion took over me mm-hmm. to where I felt like I was him. Yeah, and I was like, "You one of them? Mm-hmm. Let's go." Yeah. It wasn't you take over. You you go. Yeah. It was you one of them. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you get what I I'm saying? Because you saw that emotion. So something like that. If I'm watching that game, I'm sitting there. My I'm, I'm fe- was... fe- feeling sad, mm-hmm. and I'm like, man, Caitlin. Let's go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ball yeah. out. So yeah. I feel like as long as it's not, not nothing at the, the refs or uh, an opposing team or the, the, the fans, 
I feel like, man, that that's human instinct, man. Now, you you got to leave the, the, the passion, the feelings in it. I 100% agree. That's so let me I ask think. you this. Go ahead. Because the guy said that it was disrespectful towards uh, WNBA basketball or something like that. <laughs> now, listen, listen. Go ahead. Listen. What is she hitting? The oh the the the, the WNBA logo yeah yeah and I think that that's what he I don't know why that would translate in his mind but in my opinion that's the only reason that he would give her a tech for that because everybody do that dang near every game that's a fact James Harden run into the thing every that's game that's a fact and and the only thing that is the difference here is the logo is there and she hit the logo and I think that the guy was like oh she disrespecting the game maybe I think don't get me wrong now I'm not agreeing with him or anything like that i think it's stupid it is i think that something's wrong with him and i was like that's something that you would imagine would happen in reverse in the nba a lot of times re regular people though the media mm -hmm. and i'm i'm gonna I'm call the spade a spade do it the people on tv yeah we look at a lot of people look at them like they they god Right, and I know right Dang. now everybody is saying I don't do that. Yeah. But you expect everybody you see on TV, they have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. They have to live a perfect life. Get what I'm saying? But it's like with her doing that, that makes her more human. human. Yeah, I you agree. feel me? Yeah. So I, I feel like stuff like that is like if a player get frustrated, throw the ball down and catch yeah. it. You yeah. You players in the, in the NBA have gotten text for that. Stupid. Get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's like that that's a natural emotion. Yeah. It's like natural like you, reaction, yeah. Yeah, if you passionate about what you do, you're going to do stuff like that. Like I I done did stuff at work. I'm sure you did stuff at work the way if we had had a ref at work, we uh get a text for it. Yeah, yeah. But it's because no, you, you 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 passionate about what you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't I mean they not robots, they humans just like us. That's a fact. I'm sure the referee get frustrated and do stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. for me, I would say I wouldn't give them a tech. She's a, a human being just like us. She got feelings. Yeah. Get what I'm saying? That's so a fact. Just, but she said it made her play better though. So I guess it was something that she was needed. A little fire ignited up under or whatever. Or I, kicked like in you the said, butt. That's a media train ass. Kicked in the back. But <laughs> 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 well, yeah, man. Out of pocket. It should yeah. not be attacked, man. I agree. I agree. Let these people be people. Yeah. That's a fact. But anyway, yeah. Drop down in the comments, man. Let us know what y'all think about Caitlin Clark's. Matter of fact, I said I was going to see what her stat line was. Because it was something impressive. And I was like, yo, that was a, that was a great stat line. Hey, it ain't being disrespectful to basketball, man. It's making basketball better. I ain't even going to lie. And see, the, the thing with that, if I mm -hmm. can do a cross-reference to the NBA real quick. I go ain't going to go into detail because I know we about to talk about that that next. Yeah. A lot of y'all is as big as he is because mm -hmm. he's just like a guy that we grew up with. For sure. Get yeah. what I'm saying? So that is why his fan base, that is why he got the freaking youth yeah. wrapped around him because he is one of us. Yeah. They trying to, to separate the athletes to make them on a higher tier. Pedestal, yeah. Get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, it's a natural emotion. Just mm -hmm. let let them, yeah. Let 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 them be freaking humans. It's like Facts. they want to be treated normal. Let them be treated no normal. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Now, I agree. So uh, last night, yeah, or the night before, when was this? I don't say the date, but she had twenty three and nine. Yeah, and where's the what's today? Today's the nineteenth. Yeah, it's the 19th. So, this is the last one mm -hmm. when they played the Mercury. This was she had that uh, breakout game. How much she had? 29 and 10. 29, 10 and 5. Yeah, so. And last night she had 23 and uh, 9. Yeah. So, yeah, she on a little run. And yeah. uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it for the WNBA. Yeah. Shout out to Richard, too, because he loving it, too. Shout out to Richard, man. Yeah, so. They need yes, to let them uh, girls ball, man. But yeah, drop down in the comments. Let us know what y'all think about uh, Caitlin Clark's latest run of, yep. uh, you know, she on top of, you know, dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Yes, she's uh, scoring. And uh, uh, what was the other thing we were talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what y'all think about the ref giving her that uh, BS tech that BS we don't call. agree with? BS call. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. Yeah, Lord.